Let me tell you, I was gonna make some uh, chili to can. We're we'll gonna eat some tonight for supper, but I'm also gonna get this ready to can. Uh, I've got some pinto beans, dried pinto beans that I soaked here. But before I'm gonna can them, I'm gonna put these in so they can finish cooking. Y'all like this? Can you see what I'm doing? I, I decided to ground this, to cook this ground beef in my big old wok. For one thing, it gets hot. Another thing is it gets hot. <laughs> And I can do it pretty fast. It's browning on the bottom. I'm gonna let it cook down and drain some of the grease off. And I'm gonna cook my onions. I got them all chopped up. Remember my chopper I got? And I'm gonna put garlic in it. Everything that's good. Cumin, ground cumin, chili powder. I got plenty of chili powder. All that's good stuff. And like I said, I'm gonna use some of my canned salsa that I've got canned. And some of that leftover chili that I made for mine and Howard's chili dog the other day real quick. I'm gonna pour that in there and eat, cook it with it. So, I got it going. I'll bring y'all back when I get further along. Bye. Okay, now y'all, I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, Remember me telling y'all I got this turkey baster online that's stainless steel so I can take it apart and wash it good. It's real easy to clean. I'm going to suck as much grease out of this hamburger as I can. Uh, this is just any kind of hamburger that you can find. Um, I got three different packs in here. Some of it's a little bit more lean than others. I find it on sale, put it in the freezer. Kids gotta have hamburgers. My grandkids love hamburgers. You see how much grease I'm getting out of that? That light is terrible on this. Can y'all see it? But I'm gonna put some water in here cook some more out of it. It's like bacon. You want the brown bacon to cook the grease out of bacon? Put some water in there. Ooh, that's a bunch of grease. I don't want all that grease in my chili. I want some, but not all that. So, I'm going to fade it up. A glass with some water in it and pour some water in there. Like that kind of cook this food in it. Just does something special to it. Makes it like some stuff, too. Not a whole lot, just a, about a half a cup. This wok works good for a lot of things. I bought a little one for the camper. I haven't used it yet. I was looking for a small one for here. Just for different things, for just me and Howard. I got my onions brown in here. Got my garlic peeled. I'm going to show y'all how I mince it up. With a, I got a garlic mincer. And I'll be right back. Okay, I got my meat all done. Fix it to get the rest of this grease out of here. See all that right there? That may be some water mixed in with it, but it helped to cook the grease out of the rest of it. This turkey baker baster works pretty good for this. Watch it shoot all over my stove since I'm showing y'all. That's grease. 
That's something your liver don't need is right there is that grease. Okay, got that done. My onions are ready. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna do my, how I do my, uh, my countertop's a mess, y'all. My garlic, how I peel it. This, I got this already done. This is the way I do it. I got one in there too. I saw this on, I don't like the looks of that one. See how brown looking that looks? I don't want that garlic. That one don't look real great either. I ain't using that. I'll just use this. Anyway, that's how you peel it. It looks, it may be fine, but, and it felt fine when I was peeling it, but I don't, I don't know what we're going. Okay, alrighty. I'll bring y'all back later and show y'all how I put this together. I'm back. I wanted to show y'all how I mix this, how I use the garlic mixer. I ain't got the stuff yet, y'all. Where's that at? Right here. Y'all like to use fresh garlic and you don't want to chop it? Get you one of these. They're not expensive. You can buy them out everywhere. DJ Maxx is where I find a lot of this stuff. Or Ross. You put your garlic cloves in this. It's got holes in the end. It'll mix it up really, really fine. I'm gonna put it in the hamburger. Onions. Just squeeze it out like that. And then cut it off of the thing. You got a bunch of garlic right there. I'm gonna put some more in there. So it ain't good if it ain't got no garlic in it. And that, that didn't go through, I'm gonna push it back down in there. Try to get it off. Squeeze it. Like that. See all that garlic right there? If you can see it. This light is terrible in this kitchen. Can you see it? Okay. And let's cut it off. That way you got garlic in there, but them people that don't think they like garlic, they ain't even gonna know you put it in there. So it'll be so mint, so fine. Okay, I'll bring y'all back. Bye. Now I'm gonna put my spices. I put two stable, tablespoons of uh, chili powder, ground chili powder. I'm gonna put I told y'all I like garlic. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of granulated garlic. I'm gonna put, you can always add to this. I hadn't hardly put any salt yet. One tablespoon of paprika. Everything's good with paprika. I don't know if I told y'all, but I put one whole green uh, bell pepper in there, chopped up. I'm gonna put one tablespoon of cumin. I may come back and put some more later when I taste it. Cumin. Cumin. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, I'm gonna put my liquid stuff in here. See, and it's the big black pepper, ain't kind of hot on the table. Okay. The reason I'm putting this in here dry is like, my pot's still hot. This face. For some reason, the spices get better when they get warm and it's not in a liquid. I'm gonna get all in that ground beef. Y'all wanna see inside? Mmm, it's smelling good, honey. And I'm gonna 
turn my pot on. Wrong. Yeah, that's right. I'm not gonna turn it on high. Cause I'll be burnt it up. And I'm not gonna salt it until I taste it because sometimes Make it too salty because I'm using stuff I've already cooked. Now I'm gonna put one can of tomato sauce. And I got this for 80 cents on sale. And I find it on sale for like 80 cents or something like that. I buy several of them because it's cheaper than buying the tomatoes. And I like to use it in stuff like soup and stuff. I'm going to pour that in there, like that, and stir it up, and then I'm going to put one of my cans of my homemade salsa. Yep, it's got everything in it, see there? And it's got some uh, cilantro in it. That'll even make it better. And I'm gonna put another one. I like my chill. Juicy. Let's see, this salsa. Another one. Then I'm gonna go in here and get that chili that I made that we didn't really like that much. It's gonna be good, y'all. The hot dogs. And add it. The back here out of my way. See, I just made this day before yesterday. I just threw it together in about five minutes because I needed some. So I'm going to pour it in here. Now I'm going to have to put some water in it because it's too thick. I'm gonna let this come up to a heat and then I'll bring y'all back. Okay, now I'm gonna put my beans in here because I'm gonna feed Howard some. <laughs> Four, almost 4.30. It's our meal time. But so I'll add to this and put more beans in it later. I'm baking a big batch of this because I want to can it. Look at there. I can't get that to come out. I have to get my spatula. Come on. It's really cool when you just go right in your pantry and get your own beans out. This is canned kidney beans that I did. Where's my long spoon? This is when these long spoons come in handy. It's hot outside. Most people don't like chili when it's so hot, but you know what? I do. I like chili in the summertime and in the wintertime. I'm gonna bring this up to a good boil, which y'all see inside. I only got two jars of beans in there. 
But I'm gonna add those pinto beans after we get what we're gonna eat out. And some more water and cook them back, cook it down some. See that right there? Honey, that's some good looking chili right there. It's gonna be good, it smells good. I'm gonna bring it up to a good boil, let it simmer for a few minutes. And then me and Howard's gonna eat a bowl of chili for supper. See y'all later, bye. Hey y'all, this is my canned chili. Got it all done, I gotta label it and put it in my room. I'm very pleased. Now, when I get ready for a chili dog, I got chili. Don't have to worry. Bye.